happiest. But in my transition, I feel like uh, it can be a lot smoother. Like I can push my drive phase out a little longer. Um, when I stand up and run, I can just be a lot more smoother uh, and not, you know, panic as I get closer to the line. Um, just things that I work on and practice all the time, and you know, I you know do it in practice and get good numbers. But then you actually get in the competition in the heat of the moment, uh, and you know things just things just happen. Like the hundred is so quick that it's just like you don't necessarily have that much time to think. So if you do do something wrong, then you know it kind of just throw off your whole race. And so just I feel like getting more races under my belt will, will help with that. Uh, you know, so that my race pattern becomes more consistent and, you know, no, more natural and, you know, I'm just used to competition again. Uh, so just the overall race, but like I said, some things that not aren't as obvious, but then obviously some things that, you know, are apparent, like the, the end of my race and, you know, just staying more relaxed and, and holding my form. So, yeah. I feel like um, I had a big problem with a, with an injury, but I'm coming back faster and faster every event, so I'm... Um, I'm glad to be be here again, and I hope a little bit a little bit faster tomorrow than my last one. I always work a lot on my start, and I think now a little bit the middle part of the race because the last part is going better and better. And yeah, I think I need to train a little bit more on that because also with my injury, I couldn't do that for you know, nine, eight, ten weeks. So that's why I do a lot of races now, so to get the speed in my legs and feel it, and yeah, being better and better the whole season. It's not that far away, but it's also very far away. I think there's been a lot of good people that have come before me that have just missed out on it. And so it's definitely a huge task at hand. I think what will break records, though, is when you have such a strong field like we have here sitting here today. Um, I think just having that type of competitive spirit and just that much competition is what's going to push the record. So I think we're seeing some changes in the 400 meter hurdles, men and women. And I think, you know, definitely in years to come, we're going to even see that 52 barrier break. Yeah, uh, I'm very excited. You know, I think that becoming a professional and signing my first contract with Puma is a very important step in my athletic career. And, uh, you know, I had a great time at LSU this past year, and I don't regret it for a second uh, making the decision to go there. And, um, yeah, I think, it, I think it was about time, and it was part of the plan the, pretty much for since the year started that I was going to, I was going to be done after the year, so uh, I'm, I'm glad it all worked out, and I'm happy to be where I am I mean, now. You can't jump six meters too many times, so I think the main goal now is not really a specific height, but just get some more six meters under my belt. That would be nice. Can't complain about that. I mean, I think there's definitely a lot of expectations on me. I think people expect a lot out of me now, but I mean, I have a lot of expectations on myself. I put a lot of pressure on myself to you know, jump high, win medals and everything like that. So I don't think that the, the outside pressure can exceed the expectations of myself. But I just use it as extra motivation. And uh, I guess try to not let it break me down, just use it as motivation. And, um, yeah, world championships, I guess we'll see. I know it will be very tough to win, to say the least. But, uh, you know, looking for a medal for sure. But, you know, I could, I could see myself being happy with, with a just a medal. Um, I feel good. Uh, I think the race was very smooth. I'm very happy with that start. It's uh, in our sport we call that a flying start. It feels good to to go out with a good time from Stockholm, and um, of course, being in my almost hometown, in my home country, feels feels very good, and and the body responds very well on training. So yeah, I'm looking forward. I think that is a change is also a challenge, and it's a way to to for opportunity, I think. Um, so for, for us, we, we are planning on having this as a start, doing some meets now, and uh, probably do some, do some training in between there, and uh, trying to postpone the form uh, until October, because then it's uh, the World Championships, and that is the most important thing. But of course, it, it creates some challenges, um, and um, I don't know, I'm not that too happy about it, but um, that's just the way it is, and we gotta adapt to that.